This is the city newsroom coming to you from the Odona pedestrian market. And like years before, the market has been up in flames for hours on end from 1 a.m. on the morning of Wednesday, November 18. My name is Bubiose, and as you can see around me, smoke that has been, you know, billowing as a result of fire that engulfed uh, tens, tens, if not uh, possibly close to a hundred or more of shops. Everywhere you look, you have a, a burned shop. Now, in 2019, January, we recorded a similar incident caused by a faulty refrigerator. Today, we do not know what uh, caused the, the fire here at the Odona pedestrian market, but people have lost uh, thousands and thousands, if not uh, millions, uh, of Ghana City's worth of goods. You can see burnt refrigerators, water bottles, um, some uh, fizzy drinks, but the picture here is that uh, everything has been burned almost beyond recognition. And the story is that a lot of uh, people here actually had shopped and stocked their shops for the Christmas uh, season and they have essentially lost everything. Now if you're wondering what is sold here, all manner of things are sold here. Uh, you're looking at uh, clothing, you're looking at uh, food, you're looking at um, accessories. But then I don't know if it is right that uh, such a place would have fridges that would be working 24 hours a day. But it appears that the place is littered with a lot of electrical products, which uh, in two 2019 uh, actually was reported as the cause of the fire here. That is a faulty refrigerator. It's about 10 hours since the place was engulfed in fire. And you can still see that uh, it appears the fight is not over as uh, some areas of the market is still, you know, engulfed in uh, very thick smoke. The fire service people are trying to open some of the metallic structures they are having some uh, difficulty but it appears that uh, 10 hours after the fire started it still continues to pose a challenge to firemen i mean where we are standing you know we are seeing some embers of uh, fire flickering flickering which uh, means that the battle to bring this under control is not over you're still watching the city newsroom as we try to bring you different angles of this particular story. Speak to the authorities on the way forward as this is becoming a regular occurrence. Oh, so she was just uh, looking on as her container, you know, burns, you know, and filled with the smoke. And I'm pretty sure she's wondering how she's going to, you know, thrive. Okay. This is the fifth time or six times. In light of the fire outbreak at the Odona pedestrian market, the Deputy Regional Minister for Greater Accra, Madame Elizabeth Saki, you know, as well as the MC for the area, Samuel Ni Ajay Teria, have all come around and they have been giving their thoughts on the way forward to ensure that this occurrence does not happen again. We, uh, let me say that, uh, first of all, we, we know it has happened concurrently, but then we are here also to know exactly what the issue was 
what happened and what has brought out this. We ourselves have observed that there's a need for access roads and others in the market. So there is the need. That's why the MCE took the lead to take the data so that we can remodel the market and then have a better market. So next time we're not sure we're going to see such occurrence again. Now, in 2019 they mentioned that it was as a result of a fire caused by a refrigerator, the report that was uh, filed afterwards. Okay, so what we were aiming to do can, is not a project that can be undertaken by the assembly alone. So we have opened up so that we will get private partners to team up with us to get this work done. So that process has even started before this occurrence. So I believe the leadership of the market, if you talk to them, they will confirm. And this is the uh, profile we've done to know uh, how many people are working here and the various things they sell here so that we can, the market can be built in a manner with all the assets and other things that you are asking for. So uh, we believe going forward, things will get better. Well, what timelines are we working with? We're in 2020. Because we are not going to do it alone, and we are still looking for the rightful uh, partnership to do it. This has come as a surprise to all of us, but I believe it will be sometime next year. Sometime next year. So in 2021, we should see a better build market with better rules. Yes, yes, I believe so. All right, so you had uh, some uh, executives uh, or some key individuals within the region. First of all, the Deputy Regional uh, Minister, uh, is uh, Madame Elizabeth Saki, and then uh, the MC for the area, Samo Ni Ajay. Here we are. Uh, you're still watching the City Newsroom. We'll try and engage some other stakeholders as to try and cover this uh, very terrible story. I mean, it's not just, you know, uh, uh, things that have been burnt, but people's lives are, you know, almost up in flames right here at the Odona Market around the circle. <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Best it can be fair that to Jay, Jay, Honor Milo, that to Jay, two hundred, two hundred Milo, that to Jay, 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 two hundred Milo, I've lost everything. The only thing that left to me is Bible. So I'll take it. That is all what's left to me. But for this, I can't say it is well with my soul. I can't say it is well with my soul. How much, how much in terms of like investment do you think you've lost? Already I have items inside. But the one that... I invested three days today was 5,000. 5, that was 50 million. Yes. But what inside? I have student best sheet. Duvel, yes. a lot of things in the shop. Sorry. I can't. Mom, relax, relax, relax. relax. Sell it. Sell it. Relax. Sell it. Motor is here. Oh, fine. Motor is here. 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 Motor is She's invested thousands, you know, you know, uh, in in the past couple of years of months, selling all sides of all types of things, and she essentially can't contain herself. Uh, you know, she's lost everything, no hope. And uh, I mean, her mother, you know, who was speaking before her, essentially mentioned that prior people were not allowed to cook, the people were not allowed to use gas and the likes. But it appears that anyone is able to do whatever it is that they want to do, and this has been leading to fires. Now, my colleague Caleb Kuda spoke to the fire service after this morning's uh, fire outbreak from 1 a.m. It doesn't sound logic for us to bring a tender here without water. Then what did we come and do over here? But you see, they don't understand the nature of our work. The tenders, some have 3,000 gallons of water, some have uh, 4,000 gallons of water. And within eight minutes, under intensive pumping of the water, it will get finished within 80 minutes. 
So when they come, and within this short time, the water is finished, they conclude that we didn't bring. The last fire, um, we gave the report to AMA, and AMA made the report public. And uh, they said it was as a result of an electrical fault on a deep freezer that brought about the fire outbreak. But this one, I can only say that it's, it's the same cause, because we are still investigating. President Ekufuado has directed the National Board for Small Scale Industries, NBSSI, to make available funds to support traders who had their wares destroyed by today's fire at the pedestrian shopping center at Circle here in Accra. Speaking to journalists after inspecting damage caused to shops by the fire, Nane Ekufuado says government will embark on a rewiring exercise in the market to forestall such incidents in the future. So we are looking at providing some support to the women and men who have lost their products through the fire. How soon is that going to be? Within the next week we'll start putting things in place. By tomorrow we we'll work with the MCE to ensure he has a database of all of them. So immediately we'll work with him to ensure that they get something within the week or two. So the sooner that can be done, the better. Sure. Yes, Mr. President. Oh, really sad. Yes. What? First of all, fortunately now the fire has been contained. They identify who the people are. And then we will see what government can do to begin the process of rehabilitating the people. Um, a decision has been made to rewire all the markets in Accra, and obviously this will be a, a, a beginning. So we keep the people informed about the steps the government is taking, and then we'll see what comes out of it. It's a big tragedy. On a normal day, this place will be filled with uh, traders on the walkways, uh, pedestrian areas, and then the lawn will be left, you know, untouched. But today, you find that uh, traders who have been affected by the Ordona pedestrian market uh, fire outbreak, which uh, started at 1 a.m., you know, have uh, been forced to move some of their wares onto the lawn. You can see particularly fridges uh, as well as uh, other things, um, uh, essentially just to escape the fire outbreak that occurred earlier. Uh, today on the City Newsroom, we've tried to engage some key stakeholders, uh, some, you know, people who have been affected by the fire. And, and uh, the general story is that, you know, this uh, is an occurrence that has been happening, you know, too often. And something critical needs to be done to ensure that we don't see a repeat of this in subsequent years.